Protesters want the students held accountable, but that's just the beginning. They're also calling on the district to add anti-racist curriculum. They also want an all student assembly featuring people of color. Here's the picture. One student dressed as a police officer resting his knee on the neck of another in an orange jumpsuit. You know, as someone who went to the school, as someone who, who's lived here for a while, it, my heart just broke to see to see something so ugly. This depiction, presumably of the murder of George Floyd by Minneapolis police officer Derek Chauvin, quickly spread among students of Cedar Crest High School in Duval. In Tuesday, they participated in a walkout to say it's not okay. It's not enough for this to be a one-off and for it to be swept under the rug or dealt with. It needs to be a catalyst for a larger conversation and change. So I think it's really just sent a huge rift in the community and it's really brought racism to light and what it looks like within the community. Um, and it's really up to the school to take some action. In a written statement, the Riverview School District calling the photo insensitive, extremely inappropriate and disappointing. And while they go on to say they'll continue to provide a venue for students to discuss their thoughts and emotions, they point out that this photo was snapped off campus and outside school hours. That response prompted this walkout. I just don't think they have the language or the cultural awareness to, to understand what these types of images can do to communities of color, to people of color. Students and community members, nearly 1,200, signing this petition calling on the district to hold the students in question accountable. They're still making making it known that they're not going to they're not going to let things like this stand and they're willing to fight for our communities. Dr. Anthony Smith is the district superintendent. He says he's working with parents and students and plans to bring in a national advisor on diversity, equity and inclusion. He wouldn't comment on the specific picture, citing an ongoing district investigation. In Duval, Sebastian Robertson, King 5 News. We looked at the racial breakdown in the Riverview School District and roughly three out of the four students are white and less than 1% are black. That's according to the State Office of Public Instruction. Child and family therapist Tony Williams told us that lack of diversity can lead to a lack of empathy. I think the lack of exposure that white students have to other cultural background of students or just persons of color um, specifically um, is a trickle down effect in actions such as this. At the end of the day, you get high school students who are teenagers getting ready to be 18 and graduate and go out into society who still have these ideals that this kind of behavior is okay when in all actuality you are contributing to the problem and the perpetuation of racism in that system. And William says it's up to parents to be proactive and have upfront conversations with their children about race.